on It's On TV, broadcasting live from Lagos, Nigeria. It promises to be a wonderful time. On the oats, we get to bring men and women, young, dynamic men and women, who come here, who we'll talk about their arts and craft, their talents, skills, and gifts, and how they've been able to shape on their work with all of that. And also on the show, we get to ask them loads of questions, some of which is my favorite, about what makes them think and the ugly truth about them. All of this you get to find out right here on The Hoax. My name is J-H-E-R-I, also known as Jerry Blake. On the show today, I have a guest, a music producer, a dynamic singer, writer, and also the CEO of the Fast Rising Music Studio in the heart of First Act Town, Lagos, and also is the CEO of Brain Bank. Yes, I said Brain Bank. You want to know about Brain Bank, you get to find out here on the show. I'm not going to introduce him right now to you when I come back after this timeout. I'm going to play this short musical break, and this is the music of John Paul, and this is titled A Shape. When we come back, you get to meet my guest. Don't touch that down. <laughs> Standing here, Lord, I'm here to say, and she Baba, I'm so full of praise to my Lord and known as Jerry Blake and before we went on our short musical break I told you before that I have a dynamic guest in the house who happens to be my very first guest on this very first episode of E. Davids. E. Davids how you doing? What's up bro? <laughs> hey so you just hey, come like this. My brother I also <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we, we, we can speak, we can speak more pigeon, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you also go home, but no time for two minutes also. Okay, so, uh, okay straight up. Um, e. Davids, who, who is E. Davids for my guests that are just um, um, meeting you for the very first time? Uh, it's me. There's nobody else. <laughs> okay, E. Davids is a music minister, okay. um, husband, man, two children, mm. businessman. Mm. Uh, troublemaker, <laughs> you know, producer, yeah. uh, spirit field, Tom talking, demon pushing, and bomb. Hmm. That, that's me, that's me. That's me. <laughs> okay, all right, let, let, let me ask you this how, how, how did um, your musical career start? What was the journey like? Oh, okay, so 1996, my brother, my elder brother, came home and uh, he was excited about something. Okay. Um, I didn't pay attention to it. 97. Then, early 98, he came back and was just talking about this young man who, who are singers, who okay. came together. And, then, and I'm like, what's this noise? And before then, I, I really, really wanted to do raga. It was real for the moment. No, okay. Like, that the show Kifa, that you turn, hmm. and all those guys. So. I, I was like, okay, let, 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 let me this. yes, let me let me do this thing, okay. and then that day we just one night I was supposed to go for a show. Okay. And then he said to me, follow me somewhere, other brother, but he was mild about it, not okay. rash. So I followed him until we got to this place and it was a church. Okay. What am I? I mean, I found out. They just followed me, we entered and. Um, 
As we entered, these young men came together, about six or seven of them, and they the started singing. Okay. Men, the harmony was crazy. I, I've been going to church. Yeah. I mean, I said, Mr. God Church. Mm -hmm. And I've been hearing music, but yeah. not the way I heard it that day. Wow. It was amazing. It was beautiful. So, what are those men? Um, Do you remember that? Yes, yes. DJ Clem. Um, wow. His producer. Okay. One of the big, big fishes. <laughs> right now. How do you know that music was your thing? Okay, I think it was from that point. Okay. From that point when I got into that church and I heard them singing and everything about what they were doing was okay. speaking to me. Okay. I didn't know when I started singing with them. When wow. I got back home that day, yeah. I found myself wanting to go back. I didn't just want the music to stop. Wow. And then immediately I joined the choir. Wow. Uh, I started singing with them, group named them Turning Point. Okay. You know, and from that time, okay. there was just something about putting Jesus okay. in a song and doing it very well. Wow. Okay, you, you started um, a, a company called um, Brain Bank. Yes. Brain Bank is um, eight years old. Okay. Um, what do you guys do? We, we give um, entertainment as well to corporate bodies. You know? Okay. We have um, some wonderful corporate um, clients. Okay. Um, mainly end of year events, okay. um, middle of year events, okay. you know, corporate events, ranting. Some, well, especially the the uh, telecom telecom guys. Okay. Those guys know how to make us happy. Yeah, so, of course. I mean, <laughs> but we are business because they are in business. <laughs> so so yeah. that's what bring back to the service provider for these guys, you know. And then we help them reach the people that they are trying to reach. We we have the language. We know the language of the streets. So we use streets to give them money. And when they get their money, they give us money. Wow. Wow! Wow! So was was Brain Bank um, um, uh, a subsidiary of Dexterity Studio or Dexterity Studio a subsidiary of Brain Bank? Dexterity is their mother. Wow! We give okay. birth to, to two other companies, you know, okay. Dexterity Studios and Corporate House Boy. Okay. And Corporate House Boy is um, as simple as it goes. As the name is, you know, you don't want to clean your car. Okay. You don't want to clean your house. Okay. You don't want to wash clothes. Okay. You reach out to us. They send you people who love to clean. Wow. They, have, they were born to clean. <laughs> and so we clean for you. And wow. you bless us. You bless us, right? It's not, and if you don't want to go to the market, okay. you are so stressed. You want to cook a goosey soup, but you don't know how to. Or you know how to. You don't, you don't just want to go to the market. Mm -hmm. and we, we have people in the market already where okay. we get things cheaper. Wow. So we get your money, go to the market get these things and you wow. pay us. Wow, that's you know, so Jumia in the home. Exactly. Fantastic. It's not online, this is... Wow, this is uh, offline. Offline, exactly. <laughs> Let me ask you what, what a lot of people listening to us would want to know, talking about um, 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 all the singers, musicians and all of that, Dexterity Studios. Is it um, for uh, gospel artists or both or for secular artists and all of that? Uh, the secular guys are places they can go to. They are, okay. I mean, they are about... Hundred studios in Festival Town, okay. and it's mainly for secular guys. I mean, you go there, you want to record, we have guys smoking, smoking, and all that. And then, as a church boy, you want to record, you get to that kind of place. Yeah. You know, even though your Holy Spirit is still inside of you, yeah. you just start having everything. Should yeah. I? Should I not? Yeah. You know. So, um, we decided to do something just for church. For church guys, that's okay. where we do record inspirational songs, I mean clean music, okay, but mainly it okay. is songs that have Jesus in it, okay, and has a message, okay, from God to the world. Okay, now you you recorded a song before, um, I, I take that song, we recorded the song, um, and the song kind of went viral because, um, I, I love the song a lot, and the video was fantastic. Um, what, what, you, you call this Aga Agamitinko, I wish not. Aga Mitinko, is that Calabar? It's not, it's evil. What's the concept by that? Uh, no concept, uh, no concept. Okay. I was just um, going home, okay, and um, I think I heard a conductor okay. just using the word and he was excited. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, whenever he's making this guy excited, like, okay. when I go home, I ask my wife, what does this mean? Okay. And she said, I will shout. I said, oh, that's it. And immediately, <laughs> I sat on the piano. Wow. And as I was playing, song just came. So we just went to the, to, I mean, we have 
the studio in the house. Okay. You know, at that time, I've not opened the big studio. Oh, okay. So I just told my friend, um, Don Zenith, come, come. Oh, yeah, start producing. Wow. Let's voice this thing. And right. that was how it came. It wasn't a song that was planned. Okay. It just came, and um, in less than two hours, we are done. We were done with uh, production and voicing. Uh, you're still with us here. Yeah, it's still the Oats right here on Eat Song TV. We're going to take a short musical break. And this is the music of my guest, E. Davis. This one he called, I'm going to shout. <laughs> People of God, lift your hands and lift your voices and, and if you're alive, only give the Lord a shout. When I look at the things you have done for me, I will bless your name and give you praise. In the noon, in the night, every now and then, you keep holding me. This gives me joy, you make me stretch my hands. And lift my voice, you make me wanna shout and wanna scream. You make me wanna dance and bear a mole. You make me wanna stomp and sing. Yo, 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 I go with you. Yo, 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 yo. yo, yo. I will shout, I will clap, I will dance. For the things you do for me, for the grace you get to me, I will shout and dance. Yo, yo, yo. Every day of my life, I will bow my heart to give the worship that you deserve. You are good, good. you are kind, kind. Your love has no end. For you gave the victory that my heart desires. You make me stretch my hands. And lift my voice, you make me wanna shout and wanna scream. You make me wanna dance and bear a mole. You make me wanna stop and sing. Yo, 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 I will shout and dance. Your love they make me the tika tika. You just they make me the jolly they go. Waiting I do when you love me like so. This your behavior they see no this much. Your love they make me the tika tika. You just they make me the jolly they go. Waiting I do when you love me like so. This your behavior they see no this much. Your love they make me the tika tika. Okay, that was the music of um, E. David, and that is I Will Shout. Let me not just say the, the traditional you know, title of that song. I wanted to ask you this. Um, what makes E. David think? Now, a lot of people know, know you, and um, they've, they've seen you. So, some people have not met you, but um, for my audience, meeting you for the very first time, what makes E. David think? Okay, uh, my God. My wife, <laughs> my family extended, my team. Okay, okay. Okay, let me let, let me ask you this. Um, a lot of people, so many um, celebrities, so many um, um, you know public figures, they, they 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 love displaying their private life on social media. What's your take on that? Anybody who may go marry. <laughs> uh, sincerely, if you never marry. <laughs> You go on the back, see me and my wife, the kids on Facebook. Go and marry. And that's it. I, it's, I mean, she is my private life. Yeah. I decided to make it public. Mm -hmm. Hey, come and beat me. <laughs> all right, now, th th there's, been, there's, been, there's been a lot of um, buzz all over um, the social media about. Um, Titan, and I, I've been, I've been, you know, this, this is just crazy, and I, I've been, I've been thinking about this because I really want to hear your views about him. Freeze went on social media, um, and he gave his razzmatazz, calling anyone that gives tights a fool. That's that's one. Two. Then we have um, Timida Kolo and um, um, Wilson Joe. Both of them coming together on their separate um, ways, um, you know, throwing what do they call this in this 
Shades, thank you very much. They throw shades at, at um, um, Daddy Freeze um, about it. That um, some of them even got to write something and they said, I'm paying my tight, come to my house and beat me. <laughs> you know, then Corey went further to say that nobody's gonna beat you and all of that because I think Corey started this whole thing on social media. So now, what is your take? Do you think that Titan were fools for paying tight? I've had a chat with Corey. In fact, we've spoken on phone about fighting. Okay. And um, our stand was not the same. Okay. But because I didn't agree with your stand, it doesn't yeah. make me your enemy. Yeah. We are still friends. Yeah. Now, what I don't like is the militant approach yeah. to the way these guys respond yeah. to these things. Yeah. Yet. Now, you can't fight for God. Yeah. You can only try, but you cannot. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, God will still choose the one that is right and the one that is wrong. Yeah. Now, this thing about fighting, and tithing rather, yeah. uh, Freeze has said what he wants to say. Yeah. Calling those of us who pay because, see, yeah. I still pay. Yeah. I have no problem with it. Yeah. I mean, a God who gave me everything yeah. deserves more than 10%. Yeah, exactly. So I'm giving him 10%. Yeah. It's not because he's broke. Yeah. It's not because he. He really needs. He's it. actually saying that you know, you're not paying the tithe to God, to, you're yes, paying, paying the so tithe to the pastors. The offerings we and give to the flying jets all over. The offerings we give in church, yeah. we give it to God. Yeah. God won't come down to spend the money, but the money has things to go. For instance, my senior pastor does not have a private jet. Okay. He worked in NNPC for a long while. Yeah. He has his own money. He doesn't take anything from church apart from water. Okay. That's what he does. Yeah. But you see, it has not stopped him from using the tithes and offering of the church okay. to build things. The school has given scholarship to over 200 people. Okay. And then their houses built and um, paid, being paid for, for missionaries. Yeah. From the, I mean, if the pastor decides to use his private money to do these things, yeah. won't his family start begging? Mm -hmm. Now, those of us who don't have any problem with paying tithes, leave us alone. Simple. Just leave us alone. Okay. See, some revelation is a personal one. It's yeah. not, not everything. It's not meant for just them. Just control of Facebook or consumption. Instagram. Just exactly. chat in the day. See, I respect these guys. I yeah. love them so much. Yeah. But truth is, if you read Malachi 3, 8 to 12, that's where this whole thing about Titan. Yeah. And people keep saying Old Testament, Old Testament I understand. Yeah. But if you read Matthew 22, 23, 23, okay. it also talks about Jesus. He was saying, uh, this, you people are talking about tenth. Yeah. That's tithing now yeah. of mint of this yeah. and of that. Yeah. He said, but you have forgotten the weightier things. Yeah. You know, like love and this and that. Yeah. You said, do this love too. Yes. While you do the other one. Yes. He did not say, do not tithe. Yeah. He said, show love to people. Yeah. Talk about salvation. Talk about talk about deliverance. But as you talk about it. You can also pay your time. Yeah. But you see, we understand the scriptures differently. Yeah. I mean, my understanding and yours yeah. differs. Right. I can't force you to get it. Yeah. And um, I told someone about Jesus. Yeah. And the finished work. Yeah. And the person who almost beat me. Hmm. Two weeks after. Yeah. He got the revelation. And he's like talking about more than me that was there. Mm. And I was clapping for him. Mm. You know, so the thing is, you, we may not catch the revelation at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But when you catch it, don't force it on people. Yeah. We keep shouting doctrine, doctrine, doctrine. The yeah. reason why we have so much doctrine in the yeah. church yeah. is because your revelation became an issue. It became a burden. Yeah. You have to force it on people. Yeah. And somehow we are coming to that, even in this New Testament era, yeah. we have people who are forcing doctrine on people and they don't even know they're doing it. Yeah. You are saying, do not indoctrinate, yeah. but you are using the words that you teach on Facebook hmm. to indoctrinate. You are raising a generation of yeah. a new doctrine people exactly. well, without yeah. even knowing it. Exactly. So when I see those posts, I don't yeah. even bother. I just, I just go to the next one. I beg that is in, in fact, um, we, 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 we're going to have a more better episode to talk about Titan. Okay, if you, if you have been joining us all this while, it's still the old right here on Eat Song TVs. Um, well, uh, I'm going to take a short musical break and when we come back, we'll be rounding up the show. But guess what? I have a surprise question.
Yeah, welcome back. It's still the O's right here on Each Song TVs, and I've been talking with E. David, who've been pouring out um, his heart um, for a couple of minutes here. And um, we talked about um, Titan that has been causing the buzz on social media. Now, um, what is the ugly, ugly truth of E. David? Ugly truth. The ugly truth that that even if you are not E. David, if you just stay, you know, you just wow, Jesus, seriously. Ugly truth. The ugly truth. Bro. I think you know. How can truth be ugly? Yes, so it's ugly. But it's always ugly. I yeah. mean, G Jesus, Jesus um, was the truth mm -hmm. because he wasn't sweet. The king. Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah. Jesus Christ, God. Did you just give me that revelation? Like, just drop it. Just drop it. Just, <laughs> just take it. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ugly truth. I um, I think I get angry. Okay. I mean, you have, you have experienced it. Yeah. <laughs> I get angry when things are not done properly, and when things are when people take people for granted, especially yeah. when um, I mean, you're my friend. I'm yeah. a friend. Yeah. Um, your church is doing something. Yeah. You invite another person, yeah. and they are paying the person see, yeah. three hundred thousand, yeah. and then because I'm a friend, yeah. you tell them to give me twenty thousand for mm -hmm. transport. Mm -hmm. like, I get pissed off, yeah. and I talk, I, 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 I challenge. Very vocal, you know, I'm like, you know what? If you know that I'm not worth what three hundred k, don't why? tell your church about me. Yeah, you know, and please don't invite me again because I won't come. So those are some of the things that that, that I don't, I really, really don't like. You know, mm -hmm. and then I also hate people. Um, um, helping me to pass a message hmm. that was not hmm. the intent. Don't uh, reported speech. Yeah. So if I say Jerry is fine, yeah. but I don't like his hair. Yeah. Don't go and tell Jerry. Yeah. That if David said mm -hmm. that your hair mm. is in fact, mm. it does not. It's not sure you are a Christian. Yeah. That one day I can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate stuff. I hate all this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. So I think that's the ugly truth about me. Mm. I, I like things being said the way it is. If you don't understand it, ask questions yeah. before you report it. Yeah. And I like people. I mean. If I'm your friend, yeah. you should show me more respect than, yeah. than to someone you don't even know. Yeah. That has happened over and over and over again, and it's still happening. Especially on Facebook, people tell you they're your friends, they're your fan, and all yeah. that. And you post a song. They can't even like, not to talk They will not like, like they not to talk share, they will not download. Jesus. And then they'll see you tomorrow and say, ah, man of God. My goodness. You know, I mean, the one that pisses me off the most mm. is when you tell me, you call me my father. Mm. And I'll tell you straight. I know my sons. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them. Jesus. Yeah, because you can't be called me father and yes. you want to, and I, yes. I, you are not one of them. So, those are the, the things that the ugly truth I think of, about me that um, a lot of people have experienced, and they're like, this guy is the uh, yeah. truth. Is, if you want me to give you beautiful truth, yeah. be a beautiful. <laughs> ugly truth is for ugly people who have ugly, <laughs> ugly mindset. Okay, <laughs> we say it as it is right here on the Oaks. Okay, before we go, let me just ask you this. Okay. What are you know, tell tell me two challenges. You're a married man. Yeah. Tell me two challenges you've experienced as a married man because I have so many of so, you know, a few of my guys in the studio no. that is still but trying to get, yeah, exactly. They have to be married. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Bible says one for the wife, God will bless. There are so many things for God to give the wife. Yes, it's that was Adam that caused Danzo. it too. Yeah. You know, I, I don't blame Danzo, I'll tell you why. You see, it was Adam that caused this thing. God gave Adam wife. Okay. And when God came back and Adam has messed up, okay. God asked Adam, who told you you were naked? Mm. He said, the woman you gave to me, no. Mm. Why did he eat the fruit? Mm. He said, the woman you gave to me. Yeah. So after that statement, yeah. God said, you will find your wife. Mm. So in mm. Proverbs, you know, he said, he, he that finds, get your own good thing by yourself. Mm -hmm. I will give you favor. Fantastic. So, I think the problem is that the wife is the good thing. Yes, the wife is the good so thing. So girlfriends are just no, no, no. Wife, good thing. Oh Jesus. Yes. Okay. Um, to, to to wrap it up on the show today, um, people looking up to you. You you. Um, there are people that say they they want to be like E. Davis. If E. Davis could do this, then I could do better. So w what are your advice for them? Simple. Just one. The wise men followed the star. They followed the star to Jesus. Okay. You know, the star was not the star. Yeah. Jesus was the, was the star. They yeah. followed the star to Jesus. So it's simple. If you are looking at being like me, 
yeah. you are making a mistake because I'm only pointing you to Jesus. Yeah. yeah? It's simple. Everything I am, everything I've got, everything I'll ever be is because um, I met Jesus, changed my life, made me a better person. Um, I'm not, I, I, I don't write plans. I just live my life as, as it comes. Yeah. Me, the Holy Spirit directs me in every um, sphere of life. Yeah. So if you want to be like me, you're making a mistake. First of all, I'm only human. Okay, this is the uh, Olds right here on Eat Songs TV. You know what? We're so real right here. I'm so excited because this is the very first episode and we've been um, with my very first guest talking about E. Davis and it's been awesome. I bet you want to join me same time, same station right here on Eat Song TV, the very first online TV all over the world. Okay, so until I come your way same time, same station, remember, Keep it real in whatever you do. Photocopy doesn't pay. Bye for now.